Hey guys, I am Jess McDonald. It is the 16th of July today and you are tuned in to GameSpot News. First up, it's a good thing that we've got an open world Zelda game on the way for Wii U because it sounds like Hyrule Warriors will not be the Zelda game you're looking for. According to our very own Tom McShay, Hyrule Warriors is very much a plowing down enemies sort of title and if you're into that then you'll be good to go, but for diehard Hyrule fans it's missing that Zelda flavour. There's musical cues from the beloved old school games and some of the same weapons and enemies make an appearance like Bombs and Dodongo, but this seems like it'll be one for Dynasty Warriors fans and not so much Zelda devotees. Next up, it seems that the popularity of digital distribution is not a threat to brick and mortar stores after all, at least that's according to GameStop. The company's president, Tony Bartel, told VentureBeat that in fact most of their digital revenue comes from their real world stores, explaining the console digital is predominantly things like Xbox Live, PlayStation Network and Nintendo eShop cards. Then there's downloadable content, which is fast growing in the console digital. Bartel went on to say that DLC season passes particularly those for Ubisoft games, do very well in their physical stores. And apparently 30% of people who grabbed Watch Dogs also got themselves the $20 season pass. If you've been holding out for Bungie's Destiny, then you'll probably want to know that its beta is open for PS3 and PS4 users tomorrow. Not only that, but you can grab the mobile companion app today if you so choose. The app conveys a 3D version of your character where you can change armor, monitor your inventory and access the compendium of Destiny's lore. You'll also be able to use the app to access forums, groups and the latest news and updates about Destiny. Don't worry too much if you're an Xbox household though since it's only another week's worth of waiting before you get the beta too. Although if you want to guarantee that you'll get a spot in the Destiny beta, you'll need to pre-order yourself a copy. Finally today, Microsoft's Phil Spencer has said that the Xbox has always struggled in Japan but he's keen for the launch of the Xbox One in the region in September. The typically Nintendo driven region has had Sony admitting they're doing only okay there and now Spencer has weighed in with, we will be in Japan in September. Japan hasn't always been the easiest market for us, we'll be good to launch and be at Tokyo Game Show. Sony's Andrew House cited that the main reason the PS4 is struggling in Japan is due to the lack of content content created by Japanese devs to appeal to the local market. On the other side of the fence, Microsoft have said that they have first party games being developed in Japan and they're optimistic about the Xbox One's launch there. For today's question of the day, let me know down in the comments if you prefer buying games in store or digitally and why. That is it from me today, I'll be back same time and place tomorrow but until then be sure to have yourself a good day.